the path of anger, weep, wonder, and joy. An illumination of the divine anatomy of emotion from the pages of the unified theory of you. In the shadowed corridors of human consciousness, where the soul seeks and suffers, the ancient wisdom of Kabbalah whispers. It speaks of emotions not as fleeting shades, but as stairways to the divine. This journey is not bound by complexity, but by a deep and luminous simplicity. Here, within the sacred tree of life, lie four pillars, anger, weep, wonder, and joy. Each emotion rich with spiritual substance serves as both guide and guardian on the path to enlightenment. Kabbalah, with its ten attributes or sefirot, is often seen as impenetrable, locked in the mystery of symbols. But look closer, and you find that the divine does not hide in riddles. These sefirot are not distant stars, they are mirrors reflecting the soul's journey back to the source, each emotion a sacred step. This study invites us to see these emotions as living threads in the fabric of spiritual ascent, each one echoing a divine attribute, justice, mercy, understanding, and wisdom. Anger, the fire of justice. Anger, in the Kabbalistic tapestry, is not mere rage, but a spark from the fire of justice. In this realm, anger arises as a holy indignation, the soul's response to disorder, it is a demand, a flame kindled in the heart of humanity, reflecting the divine insistence on balance. Anger, however, must be held with reverence, for it is the double-edged sword of justice, both shield and boundary, both fire and restraint. In this sacred anger we find our first lesson, the power of discernment. When anger is channeled through the lens of justice, it transforms from a destructive force to a fierce protection of harmony. Here, in this crucible of anger, the seeker learns to wield justice with humility. The fire tempers the soul, burning away pride and guiding the heart to a new clarity, a clarity that sees beyond self to the divine order pulsing through all things. Weep, the waters of mercy. In the depths of sorrow lies the essence of weep, an attribute woven from the waters of mercy. Here, Tears become sacred, for they are the soul's baptism, a return to innocence and tenderness. Mercy does not stand apart from suffering, but moves through it, a divine compassion that touches every wound. To weep is to allow the heart to soften, to feel the vulnerability that binds all beings. It is a yielding, a surrender to the compassionate flow of the divine. Through the act of weeping, the soul is drawn closer to the heart of God. Tears are not weakness, but the release of hardness, the melting of barriers. In this seventh dimension, mercy reveals itself as a healing balm. Just as rain renews the earth, so too do tears cleanse the soul, making it fertile ground for the seeds of wisdom. To weep is to embrace humanity in its full scope, to feel the pain of another as your own, and in that communion to glimpse the face of the divine. Wonder, the infinite realm of understanding. Beyond anger and weeping, the soul ascends into the quiet vastness of wonder. This is the realm of understanding where the mind ceases to analyze and begins to see with the heart. Wonder is the threshold to the mysteries, the place where knowledge ends and awe begins. It is here that the soul meets the divine as an endless, unknowable presence, the great mystery that fills the stars and echoes in the silence. Wonder is not ignorance, it is the fullness of perception, an openness to the vast and ungraspable nature of reality. In this sacred space, understanding shifts from logic to intuition, from intellect to a knowing that transcends words. Wonder humbles the seeker, reminding us that our wisdom is but a glimmer in the cosmic expanse. Here, in the octave of understanding, we see that the purpose of life is not to know everything, but to walk in reverence and awe. Joy, the wisdom of eternal delight. At the summit of this journey stands joy, the embodiment of wisdom. Joy is not the fleeting happiness of the world, but an eternal light that shines from within. It is the radiance of a soul that has tasted the divine and knows it as home. In this ninth dimension, wisdom opens like a flower, 
and joy becomes the fragrance that fills the spirit with peace and contentment. This is the joy of knowing unity with the source, the bliss of being. Joy in its truest form is the fruit of a soul that has journeyed through anger, wept with compassion and stood in awe. It is a lightness born from depth, a laughter that rises from the soul's deepest truth. Joy is the final gift, the divine's blessing upon the seeker who has traversed the many faces of emotion and arrived at the heart of existence. In this place, joy is no longer dependent on circumstance. It is the natural state of a soul that is seen beyond illusion, that dances in the knowledge of divine love. The Anatomy of Enlightenment, a Synthesis. These four emotions, anger, weep, wonder, and joy, are the pathways that bind the human to the divine. They are not obstacles, but invitations, not burdens, but blessings. In anger, we find justice, in weeping, mercy, in wonder, understanding, and in joy, wisdom. Each emotion, when approached with reverence, becomes a doorway to higher consciousness. The journey of enlightenment is not a single path. It is a symphony of experiences that, together, reveal the soul's true nature. Kabbalah offers a unique language to explore this journey, but its truths resonate beyond any one tradition. Whether through the meditative stillness of Zen or the compassionate heart of Christ's teachings, all paths converge in the recognition that the divine is near, closer than breath, reflected in every emotion, every experience. The Divine Symphony So let us embrace anger not as wrath, but as a call to justice. Let us welcome tears, for they are the river of mercy that softens the soul. Let us stand in wonder, for it is the gateway to understanding, a holy silence. And let us rejoice, for joy is the wisdom of union, the divine's final gift. In this journey, we are not alone. We walk the same path as the countless seekers before us, all drawn by the same divine light. And though our paths may differ, though our steps may falter, the heart of the journey remains the same. We are not just seekers of knowledge, we are lovers of the infinite, pilgrims of the soul. In the end, Kabbalah shows us that enlightenment is not an escape from emotion, but an embrace of it. The divine is not found in distant heavens, but in the tears, the laughter, the anger, and the wonder that fill our days. For to feel is to know the divine, and to know the divine is to become whole. And so, dear seeker, remember this. Every emotion is a prayer, every moment a holy invitation. The path to the divine is not in complexity, but in simplicity in the courage to feel deeply and the wisdom to see beyond. This is the way of anger, weep, wonder and joy, the way to the heart of God. Welcome to Atlantean astrology where stars speak in silent codes and the universe unfolds like a sacred scroll. Here we are more than seekers. We are voyagers through the timeless and the boundless, stepping beyond the veil of the visible. Join us on YouTube and TikTok where each moment brings you closer to secrets hidden in the heart of eternity, truths whispered by the cosmos itself. Subscribe, not merely to follow, but to awaken. Let us open the celestial doorways together, unraveling the tapestry of the unknown, where light and mystery dance, waiting for the one who dares to see.